Hello there, Jay Johnson with WindowPurchase.com. Welcome back to my website. If you like the content I put up, please subscribe. And if you find it helpful, please pass it on and tell your friends, family, relatives, yada, yada. Um, I built this website to really bring all the information people would need to know into one place. Also, with that being said, I recently put up a window test. It's at the upper header. Uh, it's a 75 question test. It says, are you really ready to buy windows? And I'm also working on a test currently, are you really ready to buy doors? Um, my current book is still out on Amazon, Kindle, and Barnes and Noble, Shopping for Windows 101. And uh, with that being said, uh, let's get into it. I have people that hire me all over the United States for consulting on Windows, either because they don't know where to start or they've started and they got to a point of frustration and conflicting stories and they really don't know where to go with it. You know, back in the day when everybody got phone books, I mean, really paper phone books, if you looked up in W's alphabetically, there were no window consultants. It went from wine consulting into something else, but there was no window consultants. And I do consider myself to be a window educational specialist. It doesn't mean I know everything. I'm constantly learning. This is a constant learning process. But I do know a lot more than most people but because I go after the information. So one of the problems I've been running into a lot forever, I've been doing this since 2001, is when clients start meeting with companies and they're not even getting the right information on performance ratings and they don't even know there is performance ratings or who's doing them. So this video today is going to be a little bit on the NFRC and how to read the label. And most of my clients don't even know who the NFRC is and therein lies the problem. Now with that being said, performance ratings can also trick you a little bit. Performance ratings tell you how energy efficient the window is, brand new, when it's tested, in a laboratory setting under certain conditions but not how when the window gets weathered. In other words, performance ratings aren't going to teach you the durability of the window, the longevity of the window, or the warranty on the window, or how the company is going to install it. Those are other sections that you need to cover each and on their own. So with that being said, I'm going to step out of the picture. I'm going to zoom into my iPad and show you some stuff that you need to see. So. This is on the NFRC website, and it starts off telling you how much the average American spends. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but one of the things I want to point out here is the words high performance, choosing high performance windows. Okay? There's a video I did that says what's the difference between energy efficiency and high performance, and there is a difference, and you'll see that as we go through this. So here's a map that comes out from Energy Star. This is on energystar.gov. You can see it's broken up into different colors. And just for example purposes today, which are still real, let's go over the dark blue zone, which is considered the northern zone. If you're purchasing a window and you live in the northern zone, you would want to make sure that it's a 0.27 or lower on that U factor. For U factors, there's a couple things you need to understand. One, the lower the number, the better. Two, it's actually a measurement of heat loss going through the window because heat moves to cold. The faster the heat moves through the frame and the glass, the whole window, the worse that number is going to be. The slower that heat moves through the frame and the glass of that window, the lower the number is going to be. It's really that simple. But you'd want to make sure it's a 0.27 or less so that it would qualify for Energy Star. So here's a company's label. I met with these clients a couple weeks ago. They had windows put in from this company a few months ago. And I asked them, well, why don't you just have them back out? And they said, well, they were a little pricey. I said, well, price aside, I said, they're not even Energy Star rated for what you bought. And they're like, oh, well, what do you mean? I said, well, first of all, this is a 0.29, which is not a 2.7 or lower. And in the shaded areas of the map, that's where it qualifies. And you don't live in those shaded areas. You live further north than that. And this is a double pane with argon. And the product type is a double hung window. But this just doesn't cut it. But they assumed, based on what they paid for the window and the name that's behind the window, that they were really getting one heck of a window, which obviously is not the case. Also, you have energy charters closure forms floating around out there. This says, for customers who wish to purchase windows without, and I blurred this out on purpose, but I'm going to tell you in layman's terms what it said. 
without a certain type of glass package. I understand when I'm purchasing windows without this certain type of glass, which means my purchase will not meet energy star qualifications. I further understand this purchase will not be eligible for federal, state, or local tax rebates, credits, or incentives requiring energy star compliant windows to qualify for. So this would have gone along with this, but they were never shown this, they were never shown this, they were never explained this, and they were never shown this. And therein lies the problem. Okay, the other thing is you'll notice there's something missing here and that's called the condensation resistance rating. The abbreviation is CR. The higher the number for that, the better. This is on the NFRC website. This is a real label, but it's a made up company. You can see it does not show the condensation resistance rating on the label. It says NFRC has condensation ratings optional for manufacturers to include, so you may or may not see it on the label. Well, we don't see it on the label. That tells you something. Probably not that good of a rating because companies that know they have a better than average rating are going to list this. It goes on to say, the higher the number, the better the product resists condensation. Download the optional label. I did. Now it shows the rating. Is that a good rating? Well, I guess it depends on what part of the country you live in. But at least they listed it, which would have given you something to compare to another company. So let's get into condensation. This is not seal failure. This is not occurring between the panes of glass. This is on the room side pane of glass surface. Triple pane glass has a much higher CR rating, which is good, not bad. So it's much less likely to get condensation on the glass. Condensation only forms on a colder, cool surface. Triple pane glass keeps the room side pane of glass much warmer, which makes condensation less likely to form. So this is a material of a frame. It's a certain frame on the market that has the same problem I see with real wood windows. You get the condensation that rolls down the glass and then it affects the portion that can rot. Even though they tell you it can't rot, the proof is in the picture. I mean, hello. And again, I keep beating the same drum. About 10 to 15% of your window's frame, about 85% give or take is gonna be glass. So even if it was a good framing system, What's the glass doing for you? Because the glass is going to take up most of your efficiency. You have triple pane glass. You have three barriers against heat, cold, and noise, but you get a whole additional insulated gas-filled space. And what it does to a window is phenomenal. Here you have a vinyl frame, which is good. This can be a really good vinyl frame or it can be a bad one, but let's look at the whole performance rating on the window. It's a double pane with argon fill. It is low E glass and it's a double hung window. Now that's a respectable rating for a double hung window and they also list the condensation resistance rating. This is what happens when you change it to triple. Everything else is the same. It's still vinyl frame, it's still argon gas, it's still a double hung, but now you've gone to triple. A 0.26 minus a 0.19 based on the three glass companies that I've talked to in the past, it's about a one degree temperature difference within three feet of that window for each U factor point. So you're looking at about a seven degree temperature difference, give or take, sitting next to that triple pane glass versus the double pane glass. And it's all because of the extra layer of glass that you have and the additional insulated gas filled space you have. Kind of think of it this way. It's kind of a weird analogy, but if you've ever gone in to buy a sub sandwich, I don't know, let's say it's $5, and they ask you if you want double the meat on it, and it adds maybe a buck fifty. So now you're paying six fifty for the same sandwich that was five bucks, but you got double the meat on it. Well, triple pane glass is like double the meat. Except here it's not just the extra barrier, it's the extra gas filled space. Okay? And keep in mind the overall glass space also plays a part in it. If a company only has seven eighths from here to here, and another company has one inch from here to here, and another company, say, has an inch and a three eighths from here to here, all things being equal, if they were using the same types of lily coating, and they were using the same spacers, and they were using the same type of gas to fill it with, the glass package on the wider space in the glass would have outperformed the ones with the smaller spaces, all things being equal. Now, with that being said, you could take that glass package, inch and three-eighths, and if you put it into a window frame that's not a very good framing system, 
then that's going to become the weak leak of the window is going to now be the frame and not so much the glass. Yes, glass drives the efficiency of most of a window, but with that being said, the frame around the glass is supporting all of the glass weight. So you want to make sure it's a very sound structure around it. So that's where I'm going to leave off on this. I just basically wanted you to understand who the NFRC was, that they have specific ratings on windows, and how they tie into Energy Star, and how to kind of decipher and read that label, because I don't see people being told this stuff. I don't see them knowing how to understand it or read it, or they think a certain rating should be high when it should be low, or a certain rating should be low when it should be high. Anyway, as always, I'm Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com. If you find my information helpful, please pass it along to other people that are out there struggling for information, and thank you so much.